What's up, everyone? If you're here, go ahead and type in the chat for me. Let me know how the audio sounds. Let me know if the uh, video looks good before we start cracking open these packs. What's up, Heath? Let me slide my laptop over a little bit. There we go. Heath, does everything look and sound good? A couple more people what's up everyone if, if you're new if you just joined up let me know who uh who's all here let a few more people join and then we're gonna kind of go through what we're opening up we have a kind of a small not small opening but it's about uh it's about 20 packs we're gonna be opening up pretty much all sun and moon error uh, which was the last generation of pokemon and then we also have a, a couple special guests from x and y error which is a little bit further back than uh than sun and moon what's up rob thanks man i appreciate it yeah i think it, it might be my internet heath i think that's the main issue living out in the country like i do but yeah like i said i'll probably go over this here in a few more minutes once more people join but uh, so we got some Cosmic Eclipse, we got a three-pack Blister, and we got, uh, four more packs here. We have some Burning Shadows, uh, three-pack Blister, and I also have two more loose packs that I, I just randomly found in, like, a, one of my, uh, drawers. We have one of these Ultra Prism boxes, which have been popping up in, uh, Walmarts recently. Um, I've seen them all the time, I've never picked one up, but I decided to pick one up. Uh, the other day, this has three packs of the of, uh, Ultra Prism in there. Unbroken Bonds, which is a really big set. It was actually starting to like get up there in value. Uh, and then Pokemon uh, recently decided to do a reprint. So booster boxes and things like that have kind of come down in value recently. Um, and I was also able to pick these up in my uh, local Walmart. They had a bunch of them. So wait till we get... It says we got eight people in here right now. Let's see if we can get the ten, and then I'll start cracking some of these open. Which ones you... I might do the X and Ys first, uh, just because the title does say Sun and Moon Error. Um, so maybe I'll try to get these out, uh, knock these out before, and then uh, and then we'll get into the Sun and Moon Error stuff. So let me know what I should look for in stores, because I'm at like three or four different targets, and Walmart's looking for action figures. Uh, absolutely, Heath. I will say um of stuff uh, on facebook and um even if like it's something that you don't want or if it's out of your price range if you're able to find it uh i will gladly send you some money because i have some stuff that i see people on the internet finding like all the time in their walmarts that i just haven't been able to find um in my local walmart so normally fridays are the days where i make my rounds um and then uh I have like three target, or I'm sorry, I have three WalMarts and a Target that I normally go to, uh, here in Jacksonville, um, that normally I luck out in. Uh, I have a ton of uh, Hidden Fates over there and, and a ton of Champions Path, um, but uh, I'm still waiting to see how much I can accumulate before I open it up, so I know how much I kind of want to save and stuff like that. But all right, we'll go ahead, and kind of go slowly. We'll talk some, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up. Uh, one of these X and Y breakthrough packs. And these, um, let me double check. I should probably have this page up so I can give you guys some facts. But this is probably from 2016, 2017. Let me get you an exact date on when this series came out. But there is a, uh, there's a ton of Mewtwo's, um, in this set that, uh, I just want to pull one of them. Um, but that's why I really bought it. 
uh, there's not like a Zard or anything like that in this one, but I really want to pull one of, there's like six or seven Mewtwo's in this set. Um, oh wow, I was, I was off. November 4th, 2015 is when this set came out, so, um, I can't get myself to open my blister packs. <laughs> oh, well, what, what set, Rob? Wait, what set are you talking about? Hopefully, Heath, has this, um... Has it cleared up at all a little bit, the, the, Im the image quality, or the video quality, rather? Right, boom, breakthrough. And if you guys, if you guys are in here, just, if you don't mind hitting that like button uh, underneath the stream for me. Again, this is my first stream I'm doing here on YouTube. Uh, I did one stream on Facebook a while back, um, but I'm really trying to just switch everything over to, uh, to YouTube. Uh, I just want to keep them sealed. They look so nice. Yeah, Rob, I agree, man. Um, that's like the biggest. Uh, uh, this is X and Y, so it should be three, three, two. Um, that's like my biggest thing with like since getting I've gotten back into Pokemon. Right, growing up, you always wanted to get packs, to open them up, open them up, open them up. But now that Pokemon cards have kind of started to come in like these collection boxes and tins and all that kind of stuff, they do just look so much nicer sealed on the shelf, you know, uh, in, you know, I'm in my office here and I, you know, I don't really want to open them up, but I, I kind of have the same dilemma you do, man. All right. So I'm not too familiar in a lot of these newer Pokemon, right? So I might mispronounce them, but Goldeen, one of the original Pokemon. I know him, obviously. Woobat, Haunter, another original professional's letter. See that one, Qualidin, Assault Vest, that's actually a pretty cool reverse holo, and no, no way, no way, first pack Mewtwo EX full art, that is awesome, off the rip, that's, oh man, that's so cool, I was just saying how that's the only reason I bought this set was to pull Mewtwo, and uh, first pack, no way, full art Mewtwo EX, that is awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Hopefully that's a, that's a sign for things to come. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Mewtwo EX Full Art. I'm done. I don't really want to open any more of these of these breakthrough packs now. <laughs> Man, that's so cool. I'm gonna put them up here next to my other Mewtwo I got. Oh, I'm so that oh, oh, I'm dropping them already. Alright, I need to find a better home for this guy. Cool, man. Oh, I'm so happy I got to do that on stream. First pack. That's awesome. <laughs> cool, dude. I'm glad you guys could be here uh, to witness that with me. But yeah, there's like, uh, let me count. There's at least like six Mewtwo's in this set. Um, and there's like two full art versions. There's, a, there's the red one, which we just pulled, and there's a blue one with like a variant art. And then there's a secret rare full art. Um, so that's just three full arts off the bat, and then there's a couple other Mewtwo's in here, um, in this set, but I'm happy with pulling, I mean, red's my favorite color, so I'm glad I pulled the red one, but, uh, I'm happy with that. I'm definitely on a mission to collect, uh, um, you know, I'm trying to collect all the Mewtwo cards, uh, you know, that have ever come out, obviously that's a pretty big task, um, especially because I've missed, you know, about 12 years of collecting, but, uh. It's definitely something I kind of want to, uh, kind of a goal I have, you know, kind of as the years go on. Um, you know, he's not like a Charizard or anything like that, so, you know, he doesn't go for like hundreds of dollars, but uh, some of his cards are, are up to like, you know, 100, 150 bucks, um, but we'll see. It's a goal. We'll get there eventually, possibly. Uh, Let's see, uh, he has, yeah, he, that was definitely the only reason I bought this set was once I seen how many Mewtwo's there were and because of, of how old it is. Like I said, it came out in 2015, so I was actually able to find these on shelves, uh, at, at a local Target. Uh, Rob said I pulled, um, the Rainbow Zard the other day from the ninth pack of my first ETB. That's awesome, man. Talk about, you know, almost last pack magic. And I'm assuming you're talking about the Champion's Path one, right, bud? Pants here. We'll get into this the second pack here. If I pull another Mewtwo, man, oh, that's so cool. That'd be so cool. Swill Bat, Heavy Ball. That's a pretty cool energy card here, special energy. 
super rod to all my fishermen out there. Reverse hollow and a Florgris non-hollow rare. All right. So the hype train has pulled out of the station for that pack. Actually, I have something special I want to show you guys. One second, because I'm in a really good mood right now. All right, what do you say? Uh, yeah, Champion's Path, and the funny thing is I almost went for the other second to last pack. I was going to keep the last one sealed. <laughs> Talk, man, it's fate. It was fate for you to pull that Charizard, man. I'm happy for you. That's awesome. Like I said, I have a ton of, um, a ton of Champion's Path. I have a bunch of the uh, double boxes. I have a couple of pin boxes, and I have a decent amount of ETBs. And I even have some more on the way. But like I said, I'm just trying to see how much I can like accumulate um, before I start opening them up. But this is the special thing I want to show you guys here. So we have uh, seven, or I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six original fossil packs. You know, these packs are almost 20 years old. Um, they are like single packs, so they are out of a booster box, obviously. Um, but uh, they are in like mint condition. And I'm thinking about... Um, what well, I'm not thinking about, I'm pretty sure I am going to do it. Uh, I'm going to give one of these away, um, once my YouTube channel hits a thousand subscribers. Right now, these are going for like, I've seen them on eBay from anywhere between like 100 and 200 bucks. Uh, obviously they're not first edition packs, they're just unlimited packs. But they're still, you know, 20 year old fossil packs. So, I'm thinking about giving one of these away. Um, well I'm pretty sure I'm going to be giving one of these away. Once my YouTube channel hits a thousand, a thousand subscribers, so that's a pretty big deal. All right, so we're going to get into the last breakthrough pack here, and then we're going to get into the the Sun and Moon era of stuff. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Oh man, I'm so happy we pulled that Mewtwo still first pack. Right after I said that's all I wanted to pull. That's so cool. All right, last pack of XY Breakthrough. Here we go. Yeah, man, that would be awesome if you found him. And if you don't want him, Heath, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll give you an offer that you can't refuse. All right, last pack of XY Breakthrough. Sandshrew. Q-Bone, Bone, Bone. It's pretty cool art. He's, a, he's at like a fair. There's like a family in the background. Stunfisk. Snorlax, the big fat cat. Another heavy ball. Nice reverse hollow Sea King here. Can we do another Mewtwo in the last pack? What do you think? Nope. Another non hollow Rare. But hey. I'm happy that I at least got one of the Mewtwo's out of this set, which is what I really, 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 really wanted. And it's the red full art, which red is my favorite color. So that works for me. But that was awesome first pack, ma first pack magic. I haven't heard that term too much. Normally it's last pack magic, but we had some first, first pack magic with the XY breakthrough with the Mewtwo. All right, so yeah, now we're gonna crack into the Sun and Moon era stuff. I pretty much, I have a decent spread of uh, one, two, three, four different sets from the Sun and Moon that we're going to get into. Uh, Rob says, we'd love to see a giveaway with those packs. Absolutely, man. I, I really, I really am. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll talk to the person, you know, once again, I'm going to do it for the thousand subscriber giveaway on my YouTube page. And then I'll see, you know, whoever the winner is, if they want me to open it up on stream and then I can mail them the cards in it. Or if they just, you know, want the pack sealed. Uh, obviously, this will be later on down the road. We're, you know, almost at 300 subscribers. So we have some more to go. But um, it's definitely, I came across these, uh, you know, a couple years ago at a very, very, very fair price. Um, so I'm not really losing anything financially about giving these away. Um, but, you know, I like to kind of help the community grow and, and kind of grow my own little community here on the page. So I think this would be a good way to kind of draw some people uh, to what I'm trying to do on this channel. So, 
Um, let's see. Uh, I have the gold one from Burger King and the Pokeball. All new in the box for sure. Oh, that's awesome. I have the, uh, I still have the Charizard. Actually, that's right here. You're talking about, you're talking about this, Heath? I got the Charizard one right here. Box is a little jacked up, but. Do you send your cards and they get graded? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm starting to, um, I mean, I'm glad you guys are asking all these questions. So I went through my old collection um, and, uh, I kind of began to make a pile of, uh, cars I want to get graded. So this is all, like, Neo Genesis era stuff. Obviously, you know, um, I got some base set. I got some champ. um, uh, oh my god, what do you call these? Gym Heroes and Gym Challengers. Um, I have some dark Pokemon in here, you know, OG stuff, first edition stuff. First edition Hollow uh, Haunter here. Um, first edition Shadowless Magic Carp, some old, 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 you know, EX stuff. And then obviously I have like my Charizard Blastoids, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm kind of starting to make a little, uh, pile together, um, of stuff I want to send off to get graded. So short answer is, is no, I have not, but I'm definitely planning on doing it, uh, here fairly soon. I also have a bunch of like, you know, Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur's, uh, base set stuff I want to get graded. I think it'd be pretty cool to have um, a full set of energies graded base set. Um, so definitely something that's in the works, uh, you know. But it's actually pretty expensive to like get stuff graded. Um, so you kind of have to like make sure that like the stuff you're getting graded, you know, getting it graded adds an adds enough value to it to kind of pay for the card to get graded. It's kind of crazy how expensive it is. But all right, so we're gonna get into our first. This first, uh, I got two loose packs of these Burning Shadows. Obviously, uh, the card that you want to get in this is the Charizard. Um, so we'll see if we can pull that. We also have a three-pack blister over here uh, of some more that, you know, hopefully we have more chances to get. So Volpix, Meowth, Grimer, Lady, Ladyba, Fairy Energy, Porygon 2, Charmeleon, that's a pretty cool, uh, like, cartoonish artwork here. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe the Charizard is in here. Wool Bethette. Mass Reverse Hollow Olivia. And a Hollow Dusnor. Dust, Dusnar. Like I said, I'm still... Actually, it's probably Noir, because that's like Pinot Noir. So Dust Noir. I like to throw my Hollows into a little penny sleeve here. Uh, uh, Rob says, I'm waiting to send my cards in when the hype dies down a little too. Many are being... Yeah, and that that's another thing. That's another good point, man. Like, the wait time is crazy for, like, especially PSA. I know, uh, I know Beckett's not, you know, not as bad, you know, but it's still a pretty bad wait. And then there's that new company, uh, well, not new company, but new company to Pokemon cards, the, uh, GCG or, or CGC, uh, which apparently their times are not too bad but yeah man all of them you know you're gonna wait you know at least i would probably like two months you know the fastest turnaround unless you pay for that that faster turnaround time but like i said it's could you could spend like eight dollars a car to get graded which is kind of crazy man magic cart meowth wimpod can't pronounce that one <laughs> do diter fire energy maybe another sign that that uh charizard's in here let's see another charmeleon Oh, I just dropped my phone. Sorry, fellas. All right, now we're back. I had an itch on my nose. Charmeleon. Another Wolvafet. Reverse Hollow Beware. And a non-hollow rare. All right. Those two Burning Shadows were duds. Um, they all do action figures now also, and the hype is crazy right now. Yeah, super sensitive for the express service. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how, like, all this stuff has just kind of, like... I've always said that, like, I would love to collect Pokemon again if it was, like, socially acceptable. Like, I've been saying that to my wife for, like, years. And I kind of feel like a cop-out for, like, you know, like, being scared to collect Pokemon again. Even though, like, I, I absolutely love Pokemon. Um, 
But, you know, not too long ago, I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm just going to do it. And then, like, next thing I know, like, I, um, this was probably, like, early summer this year. I, like, kind of started to get back into it a little bit. And then I, uh, you know, I'm in the Navy, for those of you who don't know that are in here. So I went out to sea for, like, a month, month and a half. And then when I got back, you know, kind of uh, getting back into the group of things, like, Pokemon all of a sudden, like, exploded. It was, like, the weirdest thing. And, it, you know, of course... It, like, just so happened that as soon as I decided to get back into it, you know, all this price of stuff just shoot up, and it's... But I'm happy, because it just brings more more people to the um to the hobby, and it kind of feels like it did back in the 90s when it first came out, you know, when I was, like, 11 years old. So, and hopefully... uh God, my nose really has, like, a crazy itch right now. Um, and hopefully Pokemon notices this and, and kind of... Uh, Cause it, it, the one thing I, I don't like right now is where, you know, you can only kind of get it at, like, Walmart and Targets. You know what I mean? Like, I remember when I was younger, like, going grocery shopping, like, I could get it at, like, the grocery store. I, you can get Pokemon. Like, gas stations had them at, like, the checkout, like, I, or the, um, at, like, the checkout counter. Like, I guess feel like you're very limited on where you can get them right now. And, you know, hopefully that changes. Obviously, we have the internet now, which we, you know, we didn't have back then. Um, so, we'll see. All right, we're going to jump into this Cosmic Eclipse. I, we'll probably just jump around, you know, uh, all different sets. Um, and uh, Cosmic Eclipse, this is like a, a huge set. This set has like 200 and something cards in it. Um, a lot of really cool, like, full arts and secret rare and gold cards. Um, uh, so this set has like a lot of beautiful artwork. Um, not necessarily any, like, chase cards, um, but... Um, I think there's actually a Mewtwo in Cosmic Eclipse too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no Zard in there, in here, um, but we'll see what we can get. There's a lot of just really cool artwork in this set, which is, uh, you know, really makes it uh, attractive. Clefairy. Reverse Hollow Cosmog. Woo! Reshiram and Zekrom Tag Team. Look at that. That's a sweet card. That's another thing, like... It was so confusing coming back to Pokemon and seeing, like, these full art, like, crazy art cards. And then these, like, tag team ones to, uh, you know, on top of it. It's pretty cool to see, like, two Pokemon on top on one card. But this, these are really cool. And uh, this this set also has, like, the, the cards where the trainers are actually on the art with the Pokemon. So super, super cool card. Reshiram and Zekrom tag team. We're having, uh, we're having some pretty good luck tonight. Pretty good luck tonight. Put that in the sleeve there. And we'll put it next to our Mewtwo over here. Well, at the end of the stream, we'll kind of do a little little recap on all the, all the good pulls that we get. Only four cards in the pack. Yeah, Heath, I've seen that. Um, at the dollar store, uh, I have seen those packs. I've actually bought a few of them. Um, actually, I take that back. I've bought probably close to 100 of those. <laughs> Try to sound modest. But, um, yeah, they do have those. And I've actually pulled, like, some good cards out of theirs, uh, out of those, too. Like, nice GX and uh, EX cards based on the, the set. All right, so we're going to go into the Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds. Like I said, um, this set was kind of catching a lot of hype, um, and, and, like, value to it. And then Pokemon, uh, went ahead and did a reprint. Um, so I'm assuming that's what these are, because I just found these in my local, uh, my local Walmart. So, oh, there's a, there's actually, oh, this is a Reshiram and Charizard tag team card, which is one of the bigger cards in this set. Right. Let's crack this bad boy open. I've actually, I don't think I've actually opened any card or any packs from this set, so I'm pretty excited. Alright, Sun and Moon, so we do the four card trick here. Three, four, one, two. Alright, boys, let's see what we got here. Seal. Mischievous. Glamow. Growlithe. OG Pokemon. Steel Energy. Fire Crystal. A D Evolution Spray Z. Keep hitting my cell phone. Sorry, guys. I need to get better at this. Togetech. Reverse Hall Lydon. Or Lydon. 
And then a non-hollow rare. All right, a dud on that first pack. Uh, oh, I don't think this one will have a hollow. <laughs> you called it. No hollow on that one. Well, um, let's see. What should we do next? Should we bust open this uh, Ultra Prism box? I'll at least take the plastic off. See, you guys want to see one of these packs next? I'm pretty sure. I think it's only three. Yeah, three Sun and Moon Ultra Prism. Yeah, one, two, three. Let's do one of these. Let's see what we got. That's a pretty cool box, though. Might keep that for absolutely no reason. Just because. All right. That's Leafy on here. Let's do this Leafy on pack. Looking at the back of the code card so I don't spoil the surprise. <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me read that. I try to avoid looking at the back of the code, code card so I don't spoil the surprise. <laughs> I should start giving those away like everyone else does. I don't know. I have a stack of them, like a huge stack of them. And uh, I don't play the online train card game, so I don't know why I keep them. It's just a very selfish move of me. Uh, Ultra Prism, though. Here we go. I think, again, this is my... I, don't, I haven't opened this, this setup a lot. Um... And I'm honestly not too uh, too sure of the cards in this set. So, pretty cool. A reverse hollow the trio there. They got like the blonde wigs. And a non hollow Shyman. Uh, website sell the codes for the pet. Yo, really, do they? I don't know if I want to sell them though. What's uh? Let's do another cosmic eclipse. We got a we got a bunch of these. <laughs> uh, I was gonna. I wonder that. Does it does it have like the same stuff that the pack has, like that the actual pack has in it, or is it just kind of like a just a different pack? I've always wondered that, and I feel like you would know that, Heath. T Pig, Luna Shanshu, Snor Snorit, Coughing, Drillbur, Leaf Energy, Drawl Energy, Clay. Woo! Look at that. Wait. Oh. Did I mess that up? I might have messed that up. But uh here's an ex Excadrill. I think I have this card already though, unfortunately. But this is what I was talking about, how they had like the trainers. In the card, um, I think that's pretty cool. Let me let me verify if I have this card already. I have a stack of uh, some of my EXs over here. I'm pretty sure I do though. Do 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 do. Yeah, see, there's like another Weevil, same kind of thing, where it's the Pokemon with the trainer. Um, who are you? Who who who? Another one. Who are you? Yeah, see, I do have it already. Man, oh man. Hey, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. Yeah, they're pretty cool. And I think it's a uh, Cosmic Eclipse is like one of the few sets that do this. And they're also, these are actually secret rares. So obviously, uh, you know, if you don't know, the way to tell if it's a secret rare or not, you see how it says. You know, there's 236 cards in this set. Like I kind of mentioned before, the Cosmic Eclipse is a huge set. But you know it's a secret rare because the front number is higher than the back number. So it's like secret cards that aren't in the set, but they are. So um, that's how you know it's a secret rare. Actually, I think the Mewtwo is a secret rare as well. That we, Oh, no, that's not a secret rare. All right, all right, all right. What's um? I kind of open up another burning shadows, cause I really wanna. It would be one, one hell of a night if we pulled that Charizard out of the burning shadows. So let's see. Let's see if we can do it. This was actually the last one left, um, of these blister packs. The target by me, they had a whole like display of them. 
And they had a crap ton of uh, Ultra Prism ones left. But uh, this was like the very last Burning Shadows one. So I'm glad I was able to grab it. Let me throw this promo card in a penny sleeve. All right. So let's boast open one of these. Uh, another Burning Shadows here. See if we can pull the Zard. Hey, Rob, man, I really appreciate you uh, you hanging out with us in the uh, in the stream. What um how did how did you find the stream? If you don't mind me asking, did you find it on YouTube or on uh, on Instagram? Two, three, four. All right, let's see what we got. Rolts, Volpix, Hoot Hoot, Ladybud, Mudbray, Dark Energy. Weakness Policy, Simi Sage, Whirlipede, Reverse Hollow Oddish, and a Hollow Zygarde. Very cool looking card. Not the Charizard, but still looking cool, or still cool looking holographic. Dragon type Pokemon. Very cool. No Charizard though. No Charizard. All right, what next? What next? What next? Let me go ahead and open up this blister pack just so we don't really don't need to worry about opening up any more blisters. All right, that's it. Okay. But I'm excited. Tomorrow, so tomorrow's Friday, so I'm going to do my uh, my rounds at my local Walmarts and Targets. It seems to be uh, they like restock on Fridays. Um that's normally when I've been having the, the best luck is on Fridays. So hopefully I can uh, score some more stuff. Pretty cool Victini holographic promo card that came in this pack. And uh, Heath just, I mean, I'll probably remember, but just after, uh, after I'm done with the stream, I'll send you those pictures, bud. I have a huge stack of trash on my floor here. All right, we'll line these up with these Cosmic Eclipse. So we still have Ultra Prism. We still got some Burning Shadows. We have some uh, Cosmic Eclipse still. And um, some Unbroken Bonds left as well. All right, what's... Um, I guess let's get into the Ultra... Pr or the... Uh, we'll do more Cosmic Eclipse. You know, we have two left of everything else, and then we got... Four left of the Ultra Prism. Oh, awesome. You found me through YouTube recommendation. Awesome. Good stuff, man. I'm still trying to learn, like, the YouTube algorithm and, and, and how to tag things and title things and all that. But I'm getting better at it. But uh, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, please subscribe. I'm trying to do the best I can. Um, I do a lot of military content, um, but I'm really trying to incorporate a lot of Pokemon content into it. So, please, uh, if you don't mind, man, just please subscribe and uh, let me know how you like the videos so far. Another Alana's Fishing Rod. Vaporeon. One of the Evolutions. Reverse Hollow. Uh, Non-Hollow Sand Slash. Alright, let's do... Um, let's do... Uh, I don't know what to do. Let's do Ultra Prism. Uh, and I'm glad to be here, man. The Pokemon nostalgia is awesome. It really is, man. So have you, like, how long have you been back into Pokemon? I, I know you said that you had, uh, you bought some Champions Path, ETBs. How long have you kind of jumped back into Pokemon, though? That's a pretty cool Magnite-looking card. Snoover. Glam Owl, Drifloon, Morlul, Grass Energy, Fire Memory, Bronzong. Some of these new Pokemon look crazy and like their names are just kind of wild. I don't know. Missing Clover. Nice reverse hollow here. And a non hollow Wash Rodom. Like, what is that? It's a washing machine. Why is that a Pokemon? It's a pretty cool uh, art, though. I like the art, and I like the colors. But why is there a washing machine Pokemon? Blows my mind. 
blows my mind. All right, let's get into another Cosmic Eclipse here. Oh, wow, so Logan Paul is the one that got you back into it? That's funny. It's cool, man. Like, it's... I, I have, like, mixed feelings about that. Like, I kind of mentioned it in, in that Evolutions video I, I uploaded uh, yesterday or the day before. But, like... Uh, like, I, I know he's authentic about it, right? Like, I, you can tell he enjoys Pokemon. But, like... Just the amount of attention he brought back to Pokemon, like, kind of... I just don't think Pokemon can necessarily handle it, you know what I mean? Like, it's just the supply and demand issue right now that Pokemon's having. Like... That didn't help much. Um, awesome, man. X and Y. Uh, Evo. Like, that, since coming back, Evolutions has been, like, this has been by far my favorite set. Um, man, I love this. I love this set so much. But, uh, yeah, I bought a bunch of booster boxes, like, earlier this summer. I, I have a couple I kept sealed, but good for you, man. And, yeah, they really have skyrocketed. And, uh... You see those Kanto power boxes that are coming out? Uh, see at the end of this month or the beginning of next month. Um, it's like 10 evolution packs, and it's a collector's box. There's a Mewtwo one, and there's a Dragonite one, uh, which I'm really excited about. Absolutely peep. Rotom. Nice reverse. Hollow Onyx here. Pretty cool. Non hollow Entei. Very cool Pokemon. Not a very cool card here. Obviously, Entei is the uh, one of the legendary dogs from, like, Generation 2, I guess you want to call it. Obviously, Generation 1, we had the three birds. Generation 2, they had the uh, three dogs. Um, yeah, I'm half and half on it, too. Seems like Logan Paul has a true passion for it, so I respect that as a kid, so I know the feeling. Yeah, absolutely, man. Like I said, I'm, I'm 30, so... When Pokemon came out, I was like 10 years old, and, and I lived uh, I lived about 20, 30 minutes from New York City. In New York City, they had the uh, Pokemon Center, so I used to go there all the time, like battle. I was in like, you know, card battling leagues, and they had like these cool machines that you could bring your Game Boy games to, and like plug them into the machines there and get like legendary Pokemon and stuff. That's like where I got my first like Mewtwo and stuff. It was, it was cool, man. Like I... Uh, my local McDonald's always had, like, Pokemon nights and stuff. But, yeah, man, I, I love Pokemon. And, uh, you know, me and my, and my buddy Ray, we played, like, all the way into high school, honestly. Like, freshman, sophomore year of high school. And then Halo 2 came out and then kind of took over our lives. And that's actually where we met Heath, if Heath's still in here with us. We met him on Xbox Live in, like, 2004 on Halo 2. And we've been good friends ever since. Boom. Cutie Fly. Rylou. Grimer. Fairy Energy. Wiki. Sevper. Poe Town. Reverse Hollow. Trainer. Ah, another non hollow. Rare. All right. We're kind of uh, not doing good, but we still we got a decent amount of packs here. Decent amount of packs here. Let's jump back in this comments clips. I'll kind of uh, I'll kind of speed it up a little bit. Um, we're uh, we're at like forty three minutes right now. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me this long. Um, I know it's getting late, so I'll kind of speed up a little bit here. And yes, Halo has created many, many, many great memories, especially uh, especially in my life. Oh, I kind of got a sneak peek. Looks like we have some kind of full art back here. Could it be the Charizard? Oh, wait, there is no Charizard in Constant Clips. I'm sorry. Or was this Burning Shadows? I forget what I just opened. We'll see, I guess. We'll find out. Oddish. Rolts. Water Energy. Erica. One of the uh, trainers. One of the OG trainers. Reverse Hollow Mimikyu. And... All right, see, I didn't... Yep, we have another full R here. Sil Sylvia... GX, and this is another one with the trainer in the background. I really like the uh, I like the color on this card. It's like black, white, silver. Big fan of this uh, the color on this card. I also haven't been kind of going over centering and stuff on the few of the other ones we pulled. 
Um, but there is actually a, there's a ton of whitening on the edge of this card right here. Uh, where print lines. But yeah, even all down the side here, this cut or this card is from, was cut like really uh, really poorly, and that's unfortunate because the centering is almost perfect, left to right, top and bottom. Um, but there's like there's just a ton of whitening along the edge here. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess you saw that little uh, sneak peek too, Rob. Who else is in the chat? I mean, uh, my YouTube here says that we have uh, ten people in, and, and just Rob and uh, Heath are talking. So who else? Uh, who else is? We're in the chat. Rob and Heath, I appreciate you, of course. You know, just want to add some more people to the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, someone didn't cut the uh, or change the cutting blade. Someone didn't do their daily maintenance on the equipment. Boom, boom. All right, let's get into this Unbroken Bonds reprint here. Cool uh, holographic Pikachu promo card. All right, Charizard pack. I think that's Reshiram. Charizard and Reshiram. Like I said, I'm still trying to, still trying to learn these uh, the newer Pokemon. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. We can maybe maybe we can do it together, Rob. Since you're you're back in the game recently, just like me. All right, let's see here, Oddish. I also realize I'm not really looking at the camera this whole time. I need to find a, a way to bring the camera down here. Squirtle, Tentacool, Aron, Sandshrew, Fire Energy, Frog Frogadier. Beastbringer Power Plant, Reverse Hollow Oddish. Looks like someone like looks like an Oddish your grandma would make while she knitted. It's interesting artwork there. Non Hollow Rare again. Not really getting too many. Uh, we're getting like solid pulls and then we're hitting a bunch of duds. So sorry for the lackluster here, but we got a uh, we got four four good pulls so far. Cosmic Eclipse. Hopefully we'll get another one of these cool uh, full art trainer cards out of here. And I believe there's actually a couple... Um, there's a decent amount of gold, gold cards in here as well. Um, which I've yet to pull one of those since I've been back in Pokemon. Alright, four. Four cards trick. Eevee. Flabby. Sneasel. Natu. Trapinch. Leaf Energy, Red and Blue. It's a pretty cool uh, art there. Rapidash, OG Pokemon. Roxy, T-Pig. Another non-holo rare, man. Jesus. We are, um... Hopefully we end on a high note here. So we got one Unbroken Bonds, one Cosmic Eclipse, one Ultra Prism, one Burning Shadows. I'm going to save this one for last. Hoping we, uh, hoping we get last pack magic with the Charizard on there. That would be nice, huh? Let's go with this Ultra Prism. We'll finish these up first. Yeah, man, do it. It's definitely like a, a booming, um, a booming, um, like niche. Is that the right way to say that? Niche? Niche? On, Poke on uh, YouTube right now is, is YouTube. It's really, uh. It's really exploding. And just do it. I mean, you know, do it because you enjoy it, right? You know, if you enjoy doing it, then freaking might as well record it so you can watch it back when you're old. It's pretty funny. Two mag uh, Magnemites in the same pack. Kronk. Water energy. Stunk tank. Electric memory. And, ooh, nice. Full Art Leafeon GX. Nice looking card there, boys. And that's going to match the sleeve that I'm using here because I'm using green sleeves. Let's, uh, actually, let's check the, uh, the centering here. It looks like it's uh, off a little bit left to right here on the front. This right side looks a lot thicker than the left side. But uh, top to bottom doesn't look too bad. 
on the back, same thing, top and bottom, not too shabby. Left to right, it's just it's just like a hair off. It's really not that bad, but this uh this right side or, or left side on the back just looks just a tad bit um thicker. But nice looking card overall. One of the evolutions. So not too shabby off that uh ultra prism box, my first one. All right, all right, all right. Let's do uh, let's do unbroken bonds. Again, getting into this reprint, it's pretty funny. Like I went there, so I found these. You know, how Walmart's always have like the two sections. They have the the front section by like the checkout where they have like the aisle there with you know most of the boxes and tins and stuff like that. Um, and then they have up back in the toy aisle, they have like a little little Pokemon section. That's actually where I found these. We're back in that little section. And I bought, like, a handful, and then the next day I, like, woke up and said, you know, I'm going to go pick up some more of those because, you know, I really haven't opened too many uh, Unbroken Bonds. And I went back and all gone. I mean, there's probably, there had to been at least, like, 60 left when I when I picked them up. And then I went back, you know, maybe 15 hours later and they were all gone. So, um, so last pack of Unbroken Bonds here, my champ on the front, which I feel like... I don't know. I feel like Machamp is, like, one of the most underrated Pokemon. Like, he's he's a pretty cool Pokemon. He reminds me of the dude from Mortal Kombat. But, like, he never really, uh... I think he started out with a bad rap. Because, like, everyone had a first edition of Machamp, right? This card right here. Um, oh, I just dropped something. I don't know what that was. But, uh, I still have one sealed here. Actually, I probably have, like, six of these freaking things. Um... Like, everyone had this card, you know what I mean? It came in, like, that starter deck back in the day. So, um, everyone had this card. So, I think he kind of started out with, like, a bad rap of, like, not necessarily being, like, a rare card or anything. But, I mean, he's a pretty, he's a, he's a cool-ass Pokemon, you know? All right, let's see here. One, two, three, four. All right, we got this pack and two more left, so... And we're going to be at about an hour, so I appreciate you guys hanging out with me for that long. Meowth. Geodude. Litten. Water Energy. Ron. Marines. Exploration. War Turtle. We haven't pulled a War Turtle tonight. Obviously an OG Pokemon here. Ooh, nice. Mewtwo. Reverse Hollow. I just... I got excited and ruined that back card. Didn't look like it was a full art, though. Nice Reverse Hollow Mewtwo here. And then a holographic golem. Two OG Pokemon in that last pack of uh, Unbroken Bonds. But this is another Mewtwo to my collection. So we pulled two Mewtwo's tonight, boys. It is a success to me. Boom, boom. Put these over here. Like I said, we'll do a recap of all of our, our good pulls uh, once I'm done here. Two more packs. Uh... Oh, what's up, TK? They fought against Ash's Pineapple in the card, and also Mewtwo is such a bad at best. He really is, man. Like, my favorite thing about Mewtwo is, like, you could very easily, like, take him out of Pokemon and put him into, like, Dragon Ball Z. You know what I mean? And he would be, like, a badass Dragon Ball Z character. That's why I love Mewtwo. And he's, like, a, he's a test tube baby. I mean, you gotta love test tube babies. That's all they want is just some... They just want some love, you know? Alright, last pack of Cosmic Eclipse. I still want to pull... There's a... um. I need to figure out the name of it. But there's a really, really cool uh, full art like, trainer card that has like Ash and like Pikachu. I couldn't tell you the name of it, but it's in this set. And I really, uh, really want to pull it. It's a dope card. Finding Energy. Turkoal. Gloom. Oh, another EV Lucian here. Reverse Hollow uh, Slavion. Fairy, or, uh, fairy type. Another non hollow rare. Alright, boys. Last pack. Burning Shadows. 
are we gonna pull this Mewtwo or not this Mewtwo? I got Mewtwo on the brain. Are we gonna pull this Charizard? Probably not, right? Probably not, but hey, wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. And then uh, I'll kind of once we open this, I'll kind of end it off. Uh, again, we'll go through all the all the solid pulls that we pulled, and then I'll show you guys, you know, some of the stuff that I'll be opening up on in uh, upcoming streams here. Um, cause I, I damn near have a Pokemon warehouse, a little small warehouse. Let's go Zara. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Some hype in the chat. Pikachu, Krogonk, Magikarp, Meowth, Wimpod, <clears throat> Lightning Energy, Lunatune, Plumeri, Plumeri, God, I'm so bad at pronouncing these things. I'm the worst reader known to man. Cedra, and it's pretty bad on my healthcare provider. Like, the things I write down go into people's medical records that, like, change their lives, and I can barely, like, read. It's terrible. Cool reverse hollow here. And drum roll, please, for the Zard. Woo! That's not it. That is not the Charizard. Tanga growth. Wow, I didn't know they gave Tangela an evolution. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Non hollow, rare, not the Zard. I appreciate the hype in the chat, though, boys. But yeah, so let's um, let's go over all of our pulls real fast, all right? And then uh, we'll do a little little talking about what may be coming up next, and I'll let you guys go for the night. So we got that uh, Sil Valley GX full art with the trainer in the background. The extra drill, which would be uh this is a double. Probably one of the top hits of the night, the uh, Reshiram and Zekrom tag team. I think this card actually has some value to it too. I gotta uh You gotta look I gotta look that up. Nothing special, but it's a Mewtwo, so it's special to me. Nice reverse hollow Mewtwo. Holographic Golem. I like the cartoonish like artwork that that has. It's pretty cool. Cool looking card. Leafy on GX. The one with that really bad centering. Oh, you can't see the back. Sorry about that. Still a cool card though. Definitely not something you didn't want to get graded. And actually, we didn't even check the uh, centering on this on this this bad boy that we pulled up. First pack of the stream, man. And it was on, oh my god, I'm glad I didn't check the centering on this. Jeez Louise, look at that left to right centering. Awful. Doesn't look as bad on the back though, which is kind of weird. You can definitely tell it's a lot thicker on this side, but it looks awful on this side. Look how much thicker that side is on this side. Wow, that's wild, boys. Who's Charzilla 54? You came uh, <laughs> right at the end of the stream, boys. We're just going over all the hits we had. But let me uh, let me show you what's going to be coming up. I might have to uh, take my camera here and uh, kind of show you guys. But um, don't mind the mess. Don't mind the mess. Justin who? Justin who? I know a lot of Justins. <laughs> yeah, definitely the best pull of the night, but awful shed, uh, centering, man. I agree. But let me show you uh, some of the stuff we, we have coming up, you know, later on in the weeks. Don't, please don't mind my office. It's, it's a freaking mess, but me and my wife both work out of here. But down here, we have a ton of Shining Legends. Um, pin collections here, collection boxes, um, this Blastoid box and this Sir Fetch box. Me and my wife are actually going to be doing a, a pack battle video with those. Um, but these two Raichu Shining Legends and this whole top shelf is all Shining Legends. We'll get to those. Down here are some of my Champion's Path. I got a couple ETBs here. And then this is a full box of the Wolf Wolf, uh, six Six boxes of the Wood Bowl collections. 
Um, and then over here, so that whole shelf, that's, uh, that's 19 tins of Hidden Fates. And then I have two boxes of Hidden Fates. All those tins are full. The Pokeball and the mini tins are full. And then I got four boxes of the Burning Shadow ETBs. Uh, and then I have that one here as well. And then I... Heath, you see that? I got the big... Uh, I know you collect those things. I got the big Mewtwo one. The big Pop. Funko Pop, whatever you call them. Um... Oh, yeah, and then last but not least, all those binders down here. There's like one, like seven binders. That's all my uh, my original um, my original OG collection that I want to make a separate video just kind of going through those. Um, and uh, I think that'd be a really cool video. Hopefully, I didn't make you guys too seasick putting that camera around. Um... Let's see here. I've been uh, sub for a while, and my name is Justin. Oh, awesome. Well, I appreciate it, man. And I hope you like the videos, and I appreciate you stopping in, man. I, I really, really appreciate the uh, um, the interest in the channel. Um, I have that full. Oh, you have it? Nice. It was pretty funny, man. Uh, you can rewatch the stream, like, not too far in. But first pack of the... Uh, the breakthrough. I was like, you know, I bought this set because I, I really like. There's a lot of Mewtwo's in it. Mewtwo's my favorite Pokemon. And uh, first pack we open up, boom, we hit it, which was really really funny. Um, yeah, pop, holy crap. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty stocked, Justin. Or I'm sorry, not Justin. Uh, Rob, I'm I'm pretty stocked. Uh, my wife doesn't like it, but hey, that's fine. Um, you plan on opening everything? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna open up a decent amount of it. I have, like, the stuff I, I wanna have sealed, I, I keep, um, uh, somewhere else in the house. This is pretty much everything I'm, I'm most likely gonna open up. And here, uh, Justin, um, since you're late to the, uh, to the stream, uh, we mentioned this earlier. I have these six beauties, um, that, uh... I acquired a few years ago before I was even back into Pokemon. Like I was just walking and uh, I was just walking through an auction and like this guy had these for, um, I'm not even going to say what I paid for them. Ah, I, <laughs> I, Pokemon wasn't big at the time, so I got a good deal. Let's just say that. Um, but I'm going to give one of these away uh, when the channel hits a thousand subscribers. So just to show my appreciation to the, uh, so you guys are showing all the support. Um, so yeah. Uh, I appreciate that, Justin. Thank you, man. I try. I try. But yeah, she does. My wife's awesome. She lets me do whatever I want. Which sometimes isn't a good thing because sometimes I get out of control. Um, yeah, man. Base set and fossil. Like, I... I've moved so much in my life, and then especially being in the military, like, you know, I, as a child I moved a lot, and then, you know, as an adult I've moved a ton, and somehow I've always held on to my, uh, all my original cards, which I'm very grateful for. You know, I kind of, we kind of went through some of the, I started to go through my collection and, and pull out some of, you know, some stuff I, I would possibly want to send off to get graded, um, so this is some of the, uh, you know, I, I have the, I have full, I have a full base set, I have a full fossil set, and I have a full jungle set, um, so, but these are just some other, like, uh, these, like, e-reader cards, you know, here's a, a base set Flareon Hollow, the old and famous Dark Dragonite Hollow, Tyranitar, Mischievous, the Entei, uh, the, you know, the Legendary Dogs from Neo Genesis, the Dark Goldback, the Team Rocket, Eric, you know, some, uh, uh, oh my god, I keep forgetting the name of this set, Gym Challengers and Gym Heroes, the Erica Dragonite, Clefable, Lieutenant Surge's Magneton, Sabrina's Alakazam, Lieutenant Surge's Electro Buzz, Sabrina's Gengar, it's the non-hollow version, but still, still a cool card, Giovanni's Persian, Koga's Beedrill, Holographic Fossil Moltres, First Edition Lapras, First Edition Hollow Haunter, 
holographic Snorlax. This is actually, I probably have like easily 2,000 base set cards. Easily. And this is my only Shadowless card, which makes no sense to me because I literally started clicking Pokemon like as soon as it came out. So the fact that I don't have more Shadowless cards kind of blows me away. But of course, my only one is a Magic Carp. <laughs> but hey, it's still Shadowless, whatever. Chansey EX, right? Another Mewtwo EX here. I think this set, I'm not too sure what this set's called, but I think this is like the first time they ever introduced like the EX cards. Uh, Chansey, Hitmonchan, Swampert, Weezing Hollow, Dugtrio Hollow. This cool trainer card that's hollow. Um, yeah, like I said, like I, I'm definitely going to get them, uh, definitely going to get them graded. Um, hey Rob, I really appreciate you stopping by, man, and, uh, definitely please subscribe, dude, and definitely stop by, man. I really appreciate the support. You hung out with us, like, all night, so thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, Justin, I'm definitely gonna, once I go through all my stuff, like I said, I have a lot I want to get through. Um, I'm definitely gonna send them off to get graded in, in different waves, just because how expensive it is, but, hey, guys, I really, really appreciate you guys stopping by, um, it means a lot to me. Like, you know, it, it's only, we only had like 10 people in here. Um, but, you know, hey, you got to start somewhere. I enjoy open Pokemon, so why not do it while I'm hanging out with you guys? And uh, I really appreciate the support. Heath, obviously, you're my bro. Um, Justin, I appreciate you stopping in here. I know you're a little late, but you jumped in. You were interactive, so I appreciate that, man. It was very good talking to you. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely, I'm going to try to do, my goal is two Pokemon videos a week pre-recorded and then i would love to try to do uh one stream a week right unfortunately i am in the navy i'm active duty so i have a little bit of seed time coming up so might not be able to do uh um streams coming up but definitely i'm going to try to do some pre-recorded videos uh and have them scheduled to post while i'm out to sea but um i'm going to shore duty fairly soon so i'll really be able to focus on pokemon and youtube uh here fairly soon so hey i appreciate it very much guys you guys have a great night um, if you haven't all right already, please like the video, um, subscribe to the channel, and uh, this will be on the YouTube page, so you can always watch it back and uh, check out what you, what you might have missed. But uh, you guys have a great night, and uh, have a good rest of the week. Thank you.